I recently made a video on how to move the origin point of an object in Blender, and now I'm gonna do the same exact thing in Maya. So here I have a cube, and as you can see, the uh, transform tool is in the very center of the object. So that's the origin point, that's the pivot point. We wanna move it to the bottom. And um, just for an example, if I rotate, if I switch to um, rotate mode, it's rotating from the center. So maybe you want to rotate it from a different point of the object. And to do that, you have to move the pivot, aka the origin. So I'm just going to um, pop my object to the top of the grid here so I can see it better. Boom. Okay, and I want to move it, uh, the origin to the bottom. So to do that, there's a keyboard shortcut and that is the letter D on your keyboard. And now you get this little um, dot tool and that shows that you're in moving the origin mode and you can slide it down and visually kind of place it where you want it. Now I can go back into my front view using spacebar and align it better visually. And now if I go back into perspective, I can select D again on my keyboard. And at that point, you'll go back into your regular transform tool. And if you want to scale it, you can see that now it's scaling from the uh, bottom or rotate is a good example. You can rotate it and it's rotating from the bottom much better. And um, so that's basically it. There's also one more thing you uh, should know. So if I select this button at the top, which is a magnet with a little dot. Now, if I go into D to move that pivot point, when I move it, it snaps automatically to different locations of the object that could be a useful place for the pivot. So here we've got it snapping to the corner vertice. Um, and if I slide it, I'm not grabbing it. If I slide it, it's moving over there, obviously. So this can be really useful too. And then you would just select D on your keyboard to, to unselect that mode and you'll be back into your regular transforms. And now it will move from that origin point. So that can be really helpful too. Um, now to get out of that, you just unselect that mode and now will it will not be snapping going forward. But um, that's it. This is something you need to know for rigging, for modeling, super useful. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks.